State. And I worship in the headquarters. Of River State. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, I have about three short testimonies I want to give to you. I want to thank God for what he did in uh, Abuja Crusade. Hmm. There is a property I have in Lagos here before I moved down to River State. And for over one year, I have been looking for a way to dispose, to sell part of that property because it is a one and a half, I have a one and a half uh, land which is in a very choice area. Hmm. And I have a three-bedroom flat in that place. And that three-bedroom, I have been taking a peanut, not up to what I'm supposed to be taking, in the value of the house, I mean rentage in that place. So I now decided that the best thing for me to do is to sell the half plot and build one plot remaining. But for over one year, I have been, they will be coming, going, and coming, and going, Price this is in some time, I will almost come in to take the money. The thing will not work again until Abuja Crusade. Hmm. Before Abuja Crusade, I was negotiating with some people how the payment would be. But, and I was almost like begging them. Then, after Abu, during Abuja Crusade, my daddy made a word of declaration that land that you want to sell. You've been trying to sell. You are going to sell it. Hmm. My brothers and sisters, after that word of knowledge, I now went back. I said, my daddy has made a proclaim. Uh, uh, word of knowledge has come out of my wall. I am going to increase this particular place. I now called those people. I said, I'm not going to sell this property for 26 million again. Hmm. I am going to sell it for 26.5 million. Hmm. And this accepted immediately. Power! Hey, hey, hey! God of children is so great. And they were almost begging me that because they thought about, they were looking as if there was a struggle. They called me to come immediately that they want to put a down payment of 8 million. Hmm. Then at the end of the month, they will pay the remaining balance. And that is what happened. I just want to glorify the name of the God Thank in the you, name of Father. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I want to, there is a testimony I want to give again. My second testimony. There is one of my cousins. The wife is a, a magistrate, a senior magistrate in River State. If some people knows about what, where I'm talking about, the woman is from where they call Ekbeye Kingdom. And these people are very occultic. They don't allow church to come in that place. In Ahoda, River State. And this, my cousin, after the father died, after the burial, the mother died, and then we came after the burial, he now decided to drive the brothers, the one that is following him, he now drove him out from the, their compound in the village. And this house was built by their father. And they have so many houses. They have one story building, they have other houses. Then I sent my text. I told him, I said, why are you doing like this? This is wickedness. This is your blood brother. Why do you have to pack all his things, throw his things away? I didn't know that this man, the, that the wife has initiated him into uh, uh, Oboni Fraternity and so many other cults. When I now sent him that thing, he became annoyed. Hmm. He now sent, he called me, I didn't pick. He now sent me a text. He said, they will make sure I leave River State and move to the village. Hmm. I, told, I showed it to my wife. And I replied to him, I said, I, I accept the challenge. But what I'm trying to tell you is that you should repent. Because what you are doing is not good. Many people are talking evil they have been doing. Brother, that inflated him also. And after his time, I forgot about what he had said. What he had, the thing he had. Then there was that time I bought a new tipper. And this tipper was working with other things. But all of a sudden, the tipper was not working again. It will go to place. The tipper will not come back. Immediately, there is no day. Instead, I will borrow money to... I started spending money and started borrowing money on that tipper. Within a short time, I sold that 10 truck. I auctioned it and I sold it. But I started praying. One day, I was praying. In, I started doing night, uh, midnight. And now saw the husband that man, that my cousin and the wife, they appeared in my dream. 
I realized that they were the problem, they were the people behind these problems. So in one of the crusades we have the enemy submitted. Hmm. I came. And our daddy said we should put on ten things we want God to do. And I wrote down the name of these particular people. And I said, God, whatever they have done against me, because I was advising him, let it return back to him. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, do you know what happened? They lost now. This God of choosing is a great God. Hey! He's greater than machine God. Hmm. What God did, immediately I wrote this petition, I made this petition, I went back. Two months later, somebody called me in the village that my cousin and the wife, the senior magistrate, they have been hiding in the village. I said, are you sure? No, what I, what? I said, maybe they are in, on vacation. And now come because my in-law is a very big lawyer in a river state, married to my elder sister. And I talked to my sister. She now contacted the husband. The husband now went and verified. Immediately, that very crusade that my daddy prayed against, there was a petition written against that woman for corruption some years back. Hmm. As, as I brought that particular topic to this great altar of God, the National Judiciary Commission now went and called the file again. Hmm. Hey! Hey! Fear ye God of chosen power. When they now call that file again, they discover that that woman has been uh, uh, doing all sorts of things, bribery, which they have forgotten a long time. Hmm. They now dismiss the woman hey. as a magistrate. Hey. And that was how they moved from Portacol to village. Power! Chosen is blessed by the most high God. Chosen as blessed, and we shall not be. Don't try the choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And what? he tried to get a job in Anambra State. They told him that as far as Nigerian Judicial Commi National Judicial Commission is concerned, that you cannot even practice as a lawyer, you cannot even do anything. Hmm. And that is how the, the woman's case closed. Back to sender. I just appreciate this mighty God. Clap on to this God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I, I am being persuaded to beg you. Listen carefully. Any prayer you don't want to happen, please don't make it in this place. I listen to what I'm saying. Yes, sir. If you don't mean it, if you don't, don't pray that prayer in this place. Because if you pray... The angel of choosing will bring them to pass immediately. Yeah. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Clap to the God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. My last testimony is... Before I give this testimony, I want to advise my brethren. So many people, if you go around, so many prophetic houses, they will see everything. They will see even what you are putting on. They will see the death of birth, but they don't have solution to your Very problem. correct. I want you to listen attentively. I came back from America some years back. And when I came back, I decided to build a house in my, house, in my village. And when I was building this house, before I was, when I was building this house, I have a very my uncle. This is a land. He said my land, the land that I inherited from my father belongs to him. It's over four plus of land. Hmm. Belongs to him. And he's a, a, a brother to my, my grandfather. But I inherited this land from my father. So I don't see why it should be a problem. He didn't ask me when my father was alive. So I started building a house. When I was now building a house, he went and buried something in that place. Hmm. My brothers and sisters, things became difficult for me. I was running. There is no church. Before then, choosing has not come out. There is no church I have not put my leg because I was living in Lagos before I moved to Portacos. Hmm. There is no church, living church, that I have not been. Even 
one of the biggest churches at uh, Ajawe State. The man of God there is from my town. He sent some powerful pastors. They went and prayed. Nothing happened. <laughs> there was one powerful church at Oswani. There was one big church, the prophetic church then. The man of God himself, they, everything, it was raining then. He came himself to my town. Hmm. What he, after the prayer, he told me that they changed my compound. Then, what happened then? My sisters, then I was now, I built a house, but I was not sleeping in that house. When I entered the house, in the night, I'll go to somebody's house to, to sleep. Hmm. So you can imagine that my uncle, he, I mean, he's a spiritual Boko Haram. Spiritually. <laughs> <laughs> he was a, a great ter terrorist spiritually. <laughs> but God of choosing is greater than him. Power! That's correct. I want you to listen. My sisters now ask me, they said, there is one particular church at Onicha. My sister now said that these people have been going for family deliverance, that they have been doing a lot of things, wonders. I said, okay. They, they booked them. And I said I was coming from, uh, I, I'm supposed to come from Lagos. That night, it was a great night. They said, okay, that they are coming that night. I came all the way to, from Lagos to my village. They brought all their band, all the people and everything. They said they're going to do all night prayer. Then it started. When they now started prayer, candles everywhere and everything, they were praying. They started praying and praying and praying. They called me. They invited me in, a, in the sitting room. When I came, they told me that there's something buried in that place, in the other room, close to that place, at the end, that place, in one of the rooms. And that I have built a house upon it. I told them, what am I going to do now? They said, there is nothing I can do because since I have built a house on it, <laughs> all, the only thing I have to do is by prayer to suppress it. That I should be trying and bringing people, prayer people to suppress this, uh, the, that power of a uh, charm. <laughs> I, I said, okay. <laughs> then, as they started praying again, they called me again. They said, there is one evil man somewhere. That is that my uncle. They say there is one evil man that the man turned to crocodile is pouring water on them. They say they need to tie the man. I say, how are we going to tie it? They say they need thread. I should go and look for thread. I run around, I didn't see thread. Then one woman in my uh, related to me from my maternal side, she decided to lose her hair and brought thread. Hmm. So that we used to tie the man. <laughs> Then they brought some candles and they were talking, they started tying using the thread to tie the man. They said they were tying the, my uncle. After tying, they, said, they told me that I should go, I will see what will happen. And I was very, my heart was so big that uh, at least I have, I have overcome this evil man. <laughs> my brothers and sisters, I now went, I left, I went back to Lagos. I was boasting that I something will happen. My brother, within a short time, somebody that uh, in the village now contacted me and said my uncle, that my uncle in the village has been boasting. He said that prayer that I prayed to that about three weeks ago, that the thing has refreshed all his body. Hey! Hey! I became weak. I said, eh? He said, the man said that I should be bringing those prayers, prayer people every time. <laughs> that he looks like a young boy now. Hey! And this is somebody that was almost about 90 plus. And I asked the man, he said, the man, the man actually look fresh. Hmm. Look young. I said, God, so there is no, I said, I was telling God, I said, if I can, if God can open the ground, let me go in. And this man will forget about me for some years. After I will come out and go somewhere and live so that you know, he will not know I'm existing again. 
Mm. Because I could not, I can't sleep in my house. Every business, when you do, there's nothing, nothing, nothing. Mm. Until somebody directed me to choosing. Power! Hey, hey, hey! Mountain of the house of the Lord on top of mountains. Let us hear what happened. Power! Hey, hey, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 You know, the Bible said in Revelation chapter 4, verse 5, it said our God is surrounded by lightning, thunder, and voices. Hmm. And these are the weapons of God. Brothers and sisters, I didn't know. When I now stepped my feet to ch in, into the choosing, I was thinking it's one of those churches. I was just down, listening. Then one day, our daddy in the Lord was standing on the pulpit on a Thursday. Hmm. He said, there is a man here. You are the only son. Ten years ago, you were building a house. And they buried something in the foundation of that your house. Hmm. As I pray now, God is going to go and remove it. Hey! Hey, 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 power, power, power. Thank you, Lord. We need to know what followed, what happened. Amen. My brothers and sisters, do you know what happened? Tell us now. That same man that all, everybody in my village has been avoiding. Every case, they want to judge it in his favor. Do you know what God, God of choosing did? Hmm. Two days later, God of choosing sent thunder. Hey! Hey! That time was in a dry season. There was no reason for thunder. Hey! God hey. Thunder went out and went like a missile. And thunder went, came into my house. He didn't want to go through back because if he went behind, he's going to cut down so many trees and affect my house. The thunder went, came, and opened a small hole in a ceiling and went into the ceiling and made a 90 degree stone went to the corner of that place that that man was pointing and then went to the, the, to the foundation of the house uprooted what was buried in hey! that place. Hey! 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 Hey. Hey. 
Hey, hey, hey. Give this God a resounding clap offering. Appreciate him by clapping unto him. He's a great God, a mighty God. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, when my daddy, he was on the pulpit, he said, there is a man here. Hey. You are the only son. And when you were building a house 10 years ago, and it was exactly 10 years, he said, they buried something in the foundation. Hmm. And as I pray now, God is going to go and remove it. Hey! My brothers and sisters, this thing happened on Thursday. On Sunday, I was in the service. My phone was ringing, ringing. In the afternoon, around 2 o'clock, there was no rain, nothing. Hamatan. I mean, it was dry season. Thunder now went. As the thunder went, it went like a missile. Hey! Thunder went. He did not destroy my house. He went through the ceiling. Open a small hole. This God is great. Too. Hey! 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 He opened a small hole outside from the, from the uh, uh, extended place and then opened a small hole, went inside, got to the dining and made a 90 degree stone. Hey! Hey! Like a missile. I don't know you if you have. I don't know if anybody has read about patient missile, American hey. patient missile that can go after going. It will stay and read the memory to connect where he was going. This thunder went and made 90 degrees turn and went to that exact point. It broke it and went into the foundation. Hey, uprooted what was buried in the foundation. And after uprooting what was buried in the foundation, he dug a hole that you think Julius Beggar has dug, under, all these things will happen under second, and came out, opened a small hole in my wall, and went out. Hey! Hey! Then, remember my uncle boasted that the charismatic people I was bragging with, that the prayer has refreshed his body. <laughs> when the thunder, after the thunder left, the man became blind and paralyzed. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Thank you, Father. He became what again? What did you say he became? He said the man became... The man, the man became blind, blind and paralyzed. And paralyzed. Uh -huh. You sang the song. And two years later, the man died. Oh, God of chosen. Fear you, God of chosen. He could not see my compound again. Sir. Can we I give God a big clap of friend? Clap unto him. God of chosen is so great. He's so marvelous. When he begins, he must make an end. It's a perfect God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. My brothers and sisters, any word that comes from this pulpit, do not neglect it. Hey! It's like fire. The word is like fire. Any word that comes and it, it concerns you, take it. It must accomplish that thing. Hey. I am telling you, I've seen it and it happened. I am telling you. Because hey. all the big, big men of God, people are brought in that place, said, they, no one, they told me that some, I told you this, they've been pointed. That is why I'm telling you that some of these prophetic church we are running to, they, they will see but they don't have solution. Oh, my father. Only God of choosing. How can thunder, how can God of choosing send thunder? If God, and God is in control of thunder. If hey. you go to Revelation chapter 4 verse 5, he said God is surrounded by, by lightning and thunder and voices. And God sent one of those thunders to go and destroy that thing. I beg, let us appreciate this God. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of chosen. I just thank God. Thank I thank you. God. I thank God for all these things. Hey. Today is up of the need. I know great thing is going to happen. I say, God, this God that has done this, may his name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for my general overseer. I say anointing upon anointing. Hey. I say anointing upon anointing. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Brother, I have been to churches. I know what we have here. Hmm. And God is going to preserve our general, our daddy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Preserve the, the family. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And all of them shall make heaven. 
and all of us shall make heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. I especially welcome you to this hour of prayer. The assurance I'm giving to you is that no matter what you are going through over the years, as I pray for you now, that problem you will see it no more. Maybe all these years, nothing has been working for you. In the name of Jesus, that you will break today. Maybe you have been experiencing rising and falling. And people hated you for nothing. No favor. Nothing works for you. Every plant which my heavenly Father did not plant in your life today shall be rooted up. And I'm assuring you, the cause placed over your family have been following your generation. Today, as I pray, that you will break your life. And that case of living a life that is contrary to the will of God. And sometimes you want to do right. Will you find it impossible? As I pray for you, and you could break your life, your life can never be the same. I do not know the enemies that are after your progress, after your future, after your career. In the name of Jesus, as I pray today, you will see that problem no more. Maybe you have been going through affliction or, you know, heart problem, liver problem, kidney problem, cancer, whatever, high BP. As I pray for you now, you will see it no more. Or it could be that over the years, you cannot sleep well. Having sleepless nights or terrible dreams of backwardness and flying and eating in the dream or being messed up. As I pray for you now, you will see it no more. Or it could be that enemy surrounds you. Enemy in the yard, enemy in the village, enemy in the place of work. Maybe enemy in the business in the market. As I pray for you, a yoke will break. All that cobwebs, moving objects, all those evil things that are going on in your life, the Lord will take them away now. It may be you are blind or deaf or dumb or have glaucoma or right, right now, there is the case of paralysis, stroke. As I pray for you, that you will break in Jesus' name. Maybe shortness of blood low blood pressure and you have treated it nowhere or maybe you just poison the leg gushing out water the leg decaying as i cause that problem you will see it no more i don't know what they're going through rising and falling delayed marriage barrenness all crises in the marriage that yoke must break today get ready now as we're going to pray I don't know what they are passing through. Insanity, you have somebody change your family. And because of terrible madness, from one person to the other, as they are dead, I better you your life. Get ready now. Whatever you are going through, your business must blossom again. The Lord will give you connection. The Lord will give you favor. And your expectation shall be granted to you. Right now, favor, upliftment shall be your portion. Let us pray. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Precious Father, I bring my people before you. Whatsoever they are going through, ranging to, from all that I've mentioned right now, Father, I command that yoke, that cause, be broken in Jesus' name. Righteous Father, it is written, every plant which my heavenly Father did not plant shall be rooted up. Father, I command that high BP on somebody now, be healed in Jesus' name. That cause you are going through, nothing works for you. I break the yoke, be free in Jesus' name. That problem your marriage now, I break that yoke. And I command peace in your family in Jesus' name. And I command progress, unity. Lord, bless them in Jesus' name. My daddy, lay the yoke of this evil life, smoking and drinking, yoke of humanizing, yoke of lust. I break it in Jesus' name. Precious Father, I pray for salvation. I pray for sanctification. I pray for intervention. I pray for the Holy Ghost baptism. Father, touch your people. Let your spirit come upon the life of my people in the name of Jesus. Righteous Daddy, in the name of Jesus, I cancel that cancer. I cancel the high BP. I cancel that moving object. I cancel that cause now. 
I cancel that barrenness. I break the yoke now. Father, bless my people in Jesus' name. My daddy, let that leg poison begin to dry now. Leg poison dry now. That child is not working. Begin to work right now. I break the yoke of paralysis. Lord, I pray, bless my people. I pray that I have a thorough oppression in the life of this one watching me right now. Oh, daddy, this night I decree that this person will sleep like a baby. I pray, oh God, that yoke of sleeplessness, I break it in Jesus' name. Father, touch my people. And I pray that that waste pen, I command it to be gone. Be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I command whatever that is moving up and down in the stomach of this individual, I command that to die now. That moving object, I said die. I cancel that evil in Jesus' name. Precious daddy, bless my people. Let the paralysis be healed. Let that madness and sanity be healed. Father, let that stroke be healed now. Lord, I command that that diabetes, that constant urinating be healed in Jesus' name. Lack of favor, I pray that yoke. Lord, favor my people. Let there be connection. I pray for miracle employment. Lord, let it be granted in Jesus' name. Lord, I call for promotion. Lord, let favor be granted in Jesus' name. Oh, daddy, bless my people. Heal my people. Deliver my people. Fight for my people. Grant them victory in every front in Jesus' name. I pray that whoever that is stretching the hand on that telling now, on that telling now, I pray that let the power of God come upon that person. Be free in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless my people. I pray and decree every unbreakable yoke. Break now. Causes, break now. Affliction, break now. All that poverty yoke, break now. That rise now, falling, I say, let that yoke break now. And that sickness, that, that terminal disease, let it be terminated now in Jesus' name. Father, bless my people. As they go to sleep, as they go out today, as they go to business now, bless my people. Let the expectation be granted in Jesus' name. May God bless you. Choosing people and people who are hearing me today. Let not merry men what to see, what to eat, what to drink, the things of the flesh. Let it not deceive us anymore.